gets to a point where the demon just downright cold, cold, uh, stone cold starts cheating. I dare you to tell the truth. <laughs> no, man, you got to play. No, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I dare you to play this game. Yeah, man, <laughs> fuck off. Man. <laughs> is that DTMerch.com I see? <laughs> Why, yes, it is. Where you can go and buy all. <laughs> All of our wonderful merchandise, including the black cotton tooth, the white logo. Uh, also, become a subscriber, please. Help support what we do here. And you can do so in many ways. I will use the Amazon account that you have combined with our Amazon Pay button. Makes it easy. It makes it easy. Put in that username, that password, press it. Ooh, Corey, ooh, ooh, if I wasn't so mad at you right now, I could feel this toasted goodness all over my <laughs> body. <laughs> I really wanted to go see Truth or Dare this weekend. I really did. I would. I did. I was yeah. very curious. But people said The Rock made me go see Rampage. <laughs> well, I didn't want him crying on social media they again. Did, get, getting back on there the way they did him with, with Baywatch, with him crying and talking about, I'm going to beat your ass if you don't see my next movie. I couldn't go see Truth or Dare. And, oh, I'm sorry, Martin. Another thing is you can't just say Truth or Dare. No, you cannot. You have to say Bloomhouses <laughs> yeah. Truth or Dare. You don't want to get it mixed up with that Madonna shit out there. Like they got Madonna Truth or Dare, uh, Bloomhouse mm, <laughs> Truth or Dare. And they also put that name on there because today, now, now you, Martin, I know people talking about, man, it's Blumhouse. No, that's that's back when he was a little rat motherfucker out there. Training, you know? <laughs> a rat soup eating. Rat, <laughs> yeah, rat soup eating man, motherfucker out there just trying to make, make movies on the cheap and, and <laughs> hustle his. No, today. Now he has prestige. Oh, he's an artist. No, it's, it's Bloomhouse. Bloom Thank you very much. <laughs> this Oscar winning. <laughs> If you will. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's fancy now because my man, he's got out there, Jason, Jason Blum. He's got out there with his production company, Blumhouse Productions. And now they've been known for making movies of all types, actually. If you think about some of the uh, other things they've done, like uh, Whiplash. Mm -hmm. I think they even dabbled in uh, the faith-based film. But hard, they said, you know, for a dude that used to just make these really cheap-ass shitty uh, pan, uh, uh, paranormal activity movies where everybody says, man, it was just a dude with a camera they bought at Target and they went to somebody's house with lights off talking about, ooh. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm like, okay, man, you got your money. You got, you did your hustle. Now let's get on with the real filmmaking. And he did. You know, we got a lot of good films that push the, uh, uh, the creativity and low budget horror. And so that's why people are looking at this and they're like, Jason, man, what the hell are you doing with Truth or Dare? I don't, I don't get this. Because the trailer people have been laughing about. Because they said, this is, this, this is the old Jason Bloom right yeah, here. Yeah, it is the old one. So you took the game Truth or Dare <laughs> and made a horror movie out of it. And, you know, no, no, hear me out. No, hear me out. Y'all know. What's, what's in the title, y'all? Come on. Hear me out right here. Now, listen. I think it's smart. Yeah. These are kids that go to Mexico, Martin. They go into an old mission and unleash the curse of the deadliest game of truth or dare ever. Martin, hold on. I see your face scrunched I, yeah, up. I, I, I take back what I just yeah. said. Yeah, Martin, no, you know, don't, don't try to make sense out of this. No, no, never no, mind. No, the, the, Martin, you didn't know. Truth or dare. No, I did not it's know. It's more than a game. It is a curse. A demonic curse from hell. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were just playing as teenagers do. No, no. Martin, no. The, the truth or dare, the devil. And these kids, they go to Mexico and... Just like Montezuma's Revenge, it came. <laughs> <laughs> so you thought Montezuma was the only person we had to worry about. No, no, this game right here. They bring the game back with them. And, of course, the game is truth that dare. You can, hey, just like any other game, the, the, the demon is saying, hey, you, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. You, you don't have to do that dare if you don't want to. I'm just going to kill your ass and take your soul if you refuse to play. Ah, stakes are high now. And on top of that, that starts to play within the trust of all these characters that we see here. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. Corey, you made it sound intriguing. See, I knew there was more to this than just some stupid title. I knew there was more to this, to, to this than what these other stuffy-ass critics out here. See, you, you know the horror, Corey, and you fair. You support. Let's go ahead and see how fair I can be on this as we watch the trailer for Truth or Dare, and I'll come back with my review. Carter. Truth. What are your intentions with our sweet Olivia? I needed to find someone with friends that I could trick into coming here. The game's real. 
bitch, we gone. <laughs> If they had ended the movie right there with them empty seats, yeah. that would have been one of the best horror movies I'd ever seen. Because <laughs> I would have had some of the smartest white people I've seen in movies. Right. Not, none of that whole, you know, <laughs> let's stick around and help and investigate. No, we like black folks. We out. <laughs> Would have been better if they just had one chair just still spinning. <laughs> they did leave her high and dry. <laughs> God, just do it. <laughs> People in this photo are not dead. Truth or dare. So does the crazy grin happen when you go, I'm not going to do it? Martin, just hold. <laughs> Save your questions. Like, Martin, don't, don't even ask questions. I'll, I'll, I'll guide you through this. Okay. Because the more questions you ask, the more time you just waste. Okay. Yours, not mine. <laughs> Martin, you got a life. Okay. I don't. I went to see this. <laughs> don't waste your time asking no questions. Just let me tell you something about this dumb shit right here. <laughs> Oh, did I, I, mean, did oh, I, did I not, say that? Are you not objective anymore? <laughs> well, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Truth or not true, this shit is stupid, okay? It is a movie called Truth or Dare. It is about a demon that likes to play Truth or Dare. <laughs> a demon, that, that is, that's his thing. <laughs> that's what he does. You can see Satan is like, so that's your wrath on mankind. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Truth or dare? <laughs> you know I what? Would... <laughs> I'm going to see how this plays out. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be in hell for that meat right there. So what you got? <laughs> now check it out. <laughs> I'm going to play Truth or Dare. Send me to a slumber party. I'll tear that motherfucker up. <laughs> Shit, let him have it, man. Shit, fuck. Last week it was Monopoly. He's fine when he gets yeah. back. <laughs> Last week was Candyland, all right? <laughs> Shit, at least he's moving up. <laughs> you just get the fuck out of my office, man. But you said your cousin was good at this. <laughs> I got it. A big bouncy council of horror. Get the fuck out of my <laughs> The checkers of doom. <laughs> sure. Whatever, man. <laughs> It's my wife's kid. I can't. <laughs> I'm married into this shit. <laughs> so you can just see it, it, it. To me, that sounds like a mentally challenged demon. Right. <laughs> I'm going to play truth the day. Let him do it, man. Yeah. Send him to earth. <laughs> let, him, let him wreak havoc. <laughs> my brother in law, what can you do? <laughs> How about I go to sleep over and braid people's hair? <laughs> get the Dude, fuck what? out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds silly. I know. I know. But the thing is, it could have worked. Because uh -oh. what, what, <laughs> Implying that it did not. <laughs> no, it did not. Not at all. It could have worked because it could have been this thing where these people, first of all, it could have been playing on each other's trust. This right. could have been something where the demon, it, man, this is the easiest job for a demon to have. Right. Just have people just out each other with secrets and just sit back and let them tear each other apart. And I see, that's what made me want to see this because I thought, well, maybe it'll be like, like the, the first uh, three-fourths of Unfriended, which was good and that it played on everybody's trust and got them to bring out secrets. Yeah. You know, the ending was weak, but I thought, well, well actually, th this, this, this movie is, is like another movie this director did. I think his name is Jeff Wadlow. I know he did. I know he did Kick Ass too. Okay. But he did a movie back in 2005 called Cry Wolf. And that was a movie, I think, where they did something on social media where all these kids turned on each other. Mm -hmm. So I was and the movie's hardly seen by a lot of people. So I thought, all right, this would be something that he's kind of remaking to go out there and actually uh, make it something that, you know, a slight remake of his theme before. Yeah. Except this time, maybe getting seen by more people and maybe upping the idea a little bit more. And nah, nah, they don't do that. They don't even go as far. Oh, and that's another thing. You saw where they had scenes in here where, you know, we were talking about how people have to, like, uh, they could up the game of truth or dare just a little bit more. I mean, you saw in this scene right there where a girl had to break her friend's hand with a hammer. Break Olivia's hand. You have to do it. Look as pissed as I am at you right now. There's no way I'm going to break your hand. Well, you don't really have a choice. God, just do it. Hell, oh, you bitch. I know. <laughs> no, I was just playing. I... <laughs> you know, they could have done something where the dares could have been higher. You know, they like, they, like what they would have to do are more insane, more gruesome things to each other. Uh, but 
No, because first of all, this is PG-13. Oh, okay. We can't do that. So what you end up here, you end up with a movie that is just a very light, almost TV show version of Final Destination. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, with this, you know, it's almost like they, they took all of the blood and all of the gore. You don't get all that fun stuff to play with here, no, because we want, we want the teens to come in here and get their money, too. Sure. And even with the, with the trailer, the, like, the best kills that you see are in the trailer. Oh. This movie spoils itself. Uh, you don't have to worry about us spoiling anything. A lot of the things that you see in the trailer, like the hammer to the hand, this right there, the pin in the eye, the dude falling on the table and breaking his neck, you just saw all that. If you were going to the movie for the kills, watch this trailer and stay your ass at home. Oh. Now, Martin, if you're going for the dumb shit, <laughs> oh, well, there's plenty Strap of that. In. Oh, there's plenty of that. <laughs> I'm going to bet you the dead. <laughs> <laughs> they could have actually made you care for the characters, got you invested with them, sure. and had them play off on each other. You know, if, uh, because be, just because this is a PG thirteen and also kind of cheap doesn't mean that that's anything that should restrict them. As we were saying with Jason Blum and uh, Blumhouse Productions today, that's an asset. They yeah. pull back on the on on the on the budget, so therefore the writing. It is in, in the in the premise of what they have is their strength, and that's not what they do here. From the very beginning, from the very start of this movie, you do not like these people, and it's funny because that premise of them double crossing each other, exposing secrets, they do that way before the demon comes in. Are you aware that Olivia is in love with your boyfriend? Hey. The demon's like, God damn, I'm not even in the room yet. <laughs> <laughs> can can y'all wait? <laughs> this was going to be awesome, but yeah, <laughs> you guys just couldn't let it be that, could you? Great. Somewhere Satan is just laughing at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's your plan right there? <laughs> no, it was supposed to be... Never mind. <laughs> Shit. It was almost like they were uh. trying to... Like, like, like they were trying to outdo the devil. I mean, the devil before they got there. Like, we're going to fix his ass. Yeah, you know, she's she, she fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had that saved for... An hour later. <laughs> There's one dude in here, especially the character of Ronnie. Ronnie is the guy that you saw who broke his neck right here. Ronnie, Ronnie's like a cross between Screech from Saved by the Bell and Harvey Weinstein. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the thing is, with Screech, the reason why I say that is because y'all know Screech from Saved by the Bell. Screech will come in. And, yeah, he was the worst. Yeah, but when, when Screech will come in, Screech will just, you know, he'll... He'll get on the on women's nerves. He'll get he'll bother the girls, but in a in, in an innocent way. He's like, will, "Will you go out with me?" And they're like, "For the hundredth time, Screech, no." <laughs> you know, okay, <laughs> you know, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> you know, he, he'll go about it. You know, he'll slink on away like Gollum. Yeah. I mean, he'll be back, but he is never gonna touch anybody. He's never sexual about it. You know, they, he's kind of innocent. He's just a nerdy kid. This guy Ronnie. Ronnie comes in the room. You're like, "So who wants to fuck?" <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> And they're all like, for the hundredth time, Ronnie, we're calling the police. <laughs> well, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, look at me, my dick is out. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> like he's the hamburglar of perverts. Yeah, they, they, he really is, man. Like, like that smile, that's not a demon smile. That's how Ronnie really smiles. <laughs> so who wants to touch my balls? <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> oh, Ronnie, get out of here. <laughs> they don't even like Ronnie. So they, they dislike Ronnie so much. They hate Ronnie. Every time Ronnie come around, he, like, he's always sneaking. They like, like they went to Mexico to get away from Ronnie. And Ronnie comes out like, Ronnie, how the fuck did you get here? <laughs> hey, I like to have fun, too. <laughs> Muy amigo. <laughs> and I was like, wow, man. It's, they go out of their way to make this guy as offensive and creepy and unlikable as possible. That's one of the times with the characters in the movie. You cannot blame them one bit. When Ronnie dies, damn, that cracked his face. <laughs> his so hard. When Ronnie dies, everybody like, well, shit, this demon actually did us a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it ain't so bad. <laughs> and you don't like the characters because, as I say, they all start out as either flat, they either, they either, even though they're they're college students, they're television teenage uh, 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 yeah, CW. Uh, characters, CW characters, man. Um, and the, if they're not assholes, they're just flat. 
You know, there's nothing to them. They're just there to spout the same shit you hear that young people say in these horror movies and die mm. uh, and look pretty. Uh, and it doesn't help with the dialogue that they gave that they gave these people. I mean, at times the way they just, I mean, sometimes there just ain't no getting around this 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 premise that they have, and it just makes them say some of the dumbest things. It's the game. What? It is. It followed us home. The game followed us home. Sure, like an app. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so truth and dare, when I'm way back from Mexico, just in the back seat. Can't wait to see the new digs. Hey, we're going to be roommates. Right, guys? Hey, you know, to the undercarriage, like Robert De Niro in yeah. Cape Fear. <laughs> I'm riding on the hood. <laughs> hey, just truth and daring. That's all. I can't tell. If you were trying to make a, a spoof of a bad movie because mm. it gets so bad sometimes, because the ideas that they have are very half baked here, they do have something that they could play with. But instead, they just they want to just go with images, scary images. They just want to put any, you know the easiest things out there to get a reaction, uh, and the and, and it's, it, it confuses the movie and it, conf- it confuses the demon. Demon don't, <laughs> demon don't know this poor demon. I, I felt bad for this demon. Demon don't know what what it, what it wants to be, uh-huh. what it wants to do. Demon don't have a lot of things to work with. They just, they, 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 it's almost like they're making this demon schizophrenic or something. The demon can't decide how it wants to possess people or scare people. Now, sometimes it can be effective. It's, it, you know, sometimes he'll hit on something. Uh, like every now and then he might bring a dead body back. <clears throat> you, know, you, you know, he might, he might create a zombie. Um, he'll do some, some things that demons do. Like he'll, he'll go exorcist style. He'll start burning shit into your skin. You know, even though it's stupid, truth or dare, you right. know, that's your punishment. You just got to go around with that on your arm. Oh, that's it? No, actually, no. It goes away after a while. Oh. <laughs> it don't even last. Oh, well, dang. Yeah, it don't even last. Even if it lasts, I'd be like, I'll take that over breaking my neck on a pool table. No, no. that's That looks kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> he'll run out of things to do, and he'll do something like make graffiti. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you just be walking through an alley, and it's like, hey, dude, truth or dare. <laughs> This shit looking like something out of a breakdancing kids show from the eighties, uh-huh. right? D might as well just you might as well just like spray paint up there. Truth or dare is fresh and dope. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Who wants to play Truth or Dare? <laughs> Word. <laughs> Sometimes the demon don't it has so little to work with. You can't blame him for doing something stupid. These college these college students they live in a nice neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about picket fence you walk by, butterfly going by. There's a, all these houses are nice. There's some nice real estate over here. But for some reason, they got the stereotypical homeless man walking through there. When I say I'm, I'm talking about cart pushing homeless. That, you know what that shopping cart? Yeah, yeah. And the kind of dude that looked like they want to make him kind of scary and threatening, so he's been rolling yeah. in dirt. Yeah. He's been eating dirt. You see how yeah. <laughs> dirty his teeth are? And... There's no other reason for him to be there than for the demon to possess him. The demon's like, well, fuck, I have to do something with this. What am I? Why is he there this guy otherwise? Won't leave and I got to do something. Why is there a, 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 a shopping cart pushing homeless guy just roaming on the sidewalk of this neighborhood? Only because they want to creep you out by having this dude just running somebody's house and scaring him. Oh, my God, there's a scary looking man in my house. Ain't no other reason for that. And you can tell that's what they're going to do at the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just, he's just there for the, like when the girl looks out the <laughs> window sometime, that homeless guy just staring. I'm still here. I'm going to get a dollar, bitch. He <laughs> <laughs> got some change. I said a dollar, bitch. But, you know, it's, it, it, it just makes no sense. They just put that in there for random kind of creepy imagery. But it ends up being silly, more than creepy. The, the worst of it are the smiles. You ask him about the smiles, why well, I told you to wait. Because those smiles are the ultimate dumb thing in the movie because that's their, that, that is their calling card for this. When people start getting asked truth or dare by these hallucinations of people with this joker smile. Yeah. And no, no, it's, it, even that doesn't work. Because when people start smiling, the smiles ain't creepy enough to, you know, to like make them look that distorted. And on top of that, they got this. A lot of people end up having this little, this little cocky head movement. That little George Clooney shake. Yeah, yeah. So instead of looking like demons, they look like the drunk dude at the bar that's fucking with you. Hey, what you doing? Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, girl, what you doing later tonight? Hey, Olivia. You see that? What's up, baby? Hey, what's going on? Your place or mine? You know, it's, <laughs> she just looks like a drunk elf right there. <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> 
Stone, it, there's nothing, again, nothing scary. And that, again, that was their big, biggest selling point. Where, and I got, I got to tell you, so I'm going to do a spoiler afterwards because you're not, you don't even get how bad this movie is. This movie is so confused and this demon is so confused is that he actually helps people sometimes. Now, people who, there are some people who play truth to dare and they come back and like, wow, that was refreshing. <laughs> I feel there's a burden lifted off of my mind right now. Thank you, truth to dare. <laughs> You know? Oh, okay. And and you know what? And it actually, for a better movie, it would be sort of a kind of a cool red herring that goes on. Like you, uh, it, it would add some, a little bit of, of nice uh, unpredictability to the film. Okay. But you can just tell here, like, yeah, well, that would be nice if it was in a movie. You knew what they were doing. <laughs> now, I, that shit was by accident. It feels like <laughs> you didn't mean for that to happen. Demon's like, wait a minute, <laughs> I helped. What the fuck did I? No, rabbit season. <laughs> You know, it's 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 it, and, and and I know I keep talking about this demon. I feel so bad for him. It gets to the point where he had he just cheats. This this, this this game needs a rule book, sure, because it gets to a point where the demon just downright cold, cold stone cold starts cheating. Like something like they figure out in the game, like well, shit, you know, we got it a little bit easier if we just keep saying truth. And Demon come back like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I've got to tell you, if you, if you do three truths in a row, then uh, you, you got to do a dare after that. <laughs> man, no, you ain't say nothing about no, that. No, bitch, you didn't say that. Hold on, you where's that in the book? No, man, you know what I mean. I left that shit in hell. I did, I was, you know. <laughs> Y'all got the old rule book. It's in the new revised edition. <laughs> Them be the rules. <laughs> you, yeah, you. I don't make this up. <laughs> and talk to my daddy in hell. I ain't got nothing to do with this. They made a game up. <laughs> and then they try to pull that... I wish for more wishes type shit. Uh-huh. It's like right right when somebody says, oh, I got you. I got your ass. Now, you know what? I'm just going to, at this point where I know a truth is what you're looking for, I'm just going to do a dare. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I, I dare you to tell the truth. Like, mother- what? <laughs> no, you can't do that. You just start cheating, motherfucker, man. You can't do that. <laughs> you just a childish, <laughs> cheating son of a bitch. Ain't no rule book here. You just making nah. things up as you go along. I dare you to tell the truth. <laughs> nah. You can even see them. You can even you can like you don't see the demon in the movie. You can you can see them there almost stumbling. Uh, well, 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 no, you see, uh, you you gotta do my four more truths before you get to this point, right? No, man, no, hell no, no, we ain't playing no more. No, man, you gotta play. No, come on, man. I I, I dare you to play this game. Yeah, man, fuck off. No. Shit. And meanwhile, Satan, get your ass back down. No, no, it's gonna work. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, my dad is. I gotta go. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Right? <laughs> We're gonna get it right. <laughs> <laughs> no, daddy, I can make this work. Give me that bottle. I'm gonna spin that shit. Watch. It. <laughs> oh no, that's the next one. That's the sequel. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> No, no, so you got to spin it three more times and it got led at a certain angle, pointing south. It, nah, don't pull this shit no more, man. No, no, no. This feels like old Blumhouse because, as I said, and need I say more, you know, uh, we, we know that Get Out, we've talked about that ad nauseum now to the point where it was such a great movie, groundbreaking film, mm-hmm. Oscar winning for them now, so you'd figure they'd move up. But let's not forget about some of the movies that they've done. It brought the M. Night Shyamalan back. Right. From the dead. Ooh. You know, they do it split in the visit. Now, say what you will about the movies. They were successful and they got good uh, 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 critical ratings. Yeah. I, I enjoyed both of them. And also, Happy, Beth, Happy Death Day, oh, a yeah. hard comedy that they did. Blumhouse has been on a roll lately. And with this, it feels like a huge step back in the days where it felt like that wave, the, 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 the midway between the paranormal activity movies, uh, para, uh, paranormal activity yeah. movies, and. Uh, the better quality movies that we got later. I know what they're going to do. And yeah, they'll probably make more of these films right here just to get their money. And that's fine. And and, and it's not like some of the other films that they just that they just hid. Blumhouse has made some movies so bad, they're like, oh, no, you can't watch this. <laughs> We're just going to put this monster in the basement right here. <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't show everything that they've done. So they knew what they were doing with this one. So business-wise, fine. We, when we do a business review show, <laughs> I'll give this a better than sex. But as a movie, this is some bullshit. This is, I mean, and when I tell you what's going on with some of the writing here and some of the things that, and some of the scenes that they have here that are so ridiculous, like I said, they, they're doing comedy writing for horror. And I'm, you know, for me to tell you that, I got to spoil it. Get that out the way right now. This is bullshit. That's my rating. Moving on. 
to spoil the territory. Yes. If you don't want, if you don't want to hear it, then you have been warned. Uh, and like I said, also I, I blame them for the potential that they've had. They could have made this work. Mm -hmm. They really could have made something good here. It could have been close, maybe not up to the, maybe some. It could have been up to the higher standards because they had something that would work. They had a final destination for the new age here. Sure. And they did and not I, take and I advantage see that of it. There. And they, yeah, they, were, they either got greedy because they wanted to bring in the PG 13 crowd, or they just didn't have the good writing to do that. And plus, let's admit, for, for Gore, that blood costs money, man. Does it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To, I mean, that's an extra level of, I mean, to put in. To put in gore effects, that's either an extra level of practical effects, which sometimes costs more than CG, or you put more CG in there. Okay, well, do you, do you feel like this was better than something like, say, The Gallows? Oh, yeah. The Gallows was one where that, that, the Gallows is a, is a mistake. I think even Blumhouse would admit that. Like, we made some money. But, yeah, this is one where we don't, we don't need to sink this low. Okay. I, I was talking about one scene where they had a, a dude, the, the, the most likable character in the movie is... An Asian dude, a gay. Oh yeah, that 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 guy from um uh the oh shit, what was the seventeen movie? Uh, Edge of Seventeen. Oh yeah, no that yeah that guy, he's one of the most likable people in the movie. You actually do like him as a character. You almost wish he was in there more. He's the voice of reason. Uh huh. He's emotional. Uh, and look, they've been at this is spoilers. He's you know he's he's sympathetic because he has to come out to. Uh, uh, his dad and the game makes him do it. Oh, they they truth or dare him into it. Yeah, the game is oh, like yeah, the game up. is like come out the closet to your dad, faggot. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, don't say that. You know, it's a demon. So but they're paraphrasing. Voice. Yeah, paraphrasing. But you know, oh, they're demon phrasing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it says, "I dare you to come out to your daddy," and he has to do it. He comes back like, "Ooh, that felt good." <laughs> oh, oh yeah. wow! Okay. Thank you, demon. <laughs> That was awesome. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. The demon's like, no, shit. No, I, thought, I thought he was going to whip your ass. No, no, fuck. The demon's, the demon's actually shocking me. You mean he didn't hit you? Y'all are still friends? He, he is Asian, right? <laughs> oh, damn. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, I guess I can come out to my dad, too. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're saying it's like, let's see, you want to go to Earth and play Truth and Dare. No, I never thought you were gay at all. <laughs> hey, hey, Daddy, I got something to tell you. You're gay, I know. <laughs> I'm gay. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, no, not my son. Jesus. <laughs> now, this Asian dude goes up to his dad and tells him gay. And he got that all out the way. But then the, the, the game comes back and like, okay, I, I got it now. I ain't through it, your ass. Uh, your dad's a cop. All right, all right. I got some, something for you now. Fuck that truth shit. Go up to your daddy and pull out his gun and tell him to get on his knees while he begs for his Amazing. life. And when that happens, man, it is the funniest thing, too, because all the dad has to do is say, I beg for my life. It's the easiest thing. And the, it, the son is telling his dad, he's like, Dad, look, whatever I tell you to do, just do it. Don't ask any questions. He pulls it out, and he's like, all right, dad, beg. And dad's like, what? He's like, I don't ask questions, just beg. Is it something I did? God damn it, just beg. Oh, it's the gay thing, right? Dad, just fucking beg for your life. It's, we can talk about this, son. And it's like, you see how this is in a comedy, we'd yeah, be laughing yeah, because, yeah. And, and finally a cop comes up and shoots the other guy in the back because he's like, I'm tired of this fucking routine that y'all are doing. <laughs> <laughs> All you had to do was beg. <laughs> <laughs> hey son, let's just go get a soda and sit down. So, Can just fucking beg? Okay, son. Now who's on first? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just beg. Just fucking. Beg. Oh, son, call your mom up. Tell her it's okay. <laughs> just fucking beg. <laughs> you remember that time when I took it to a ball game? You <laughs> can just fucking beg. <laughs> You remember when you came out as gay? It was two days ago. Fucking big. <laughs> you know, it's it. Th that is one of the scenes where it's like it was. I don't care how you write that. It should have been over with. Sure. At the after the second question, it's like, okay, son, okay, whatever you want. I beg for my life. Boom, we're done. Yeah. Nah, man, they had to go through this shit like it was a fucking Saturday Night Live sketch. <laughs> like, there's the the biggest truth in the movie that has to be told. The, the lead character Olivia, she does not. She she's been saying. Yeah, you know, I hope I don't get to that point where I have to like tell the truth about one particular thing. I can never do that. That would, 
that would, that would kill me. That would kill my friend. Turns out that the big truth, you could see it coming. Half, I'm serious, about a little, little more than halfway through the movie. Uh, there's a, a the, the blonde girl who, was, uh, who had to break uh, Olivia's hand yeah. earlier. Uh, the one where, you know, they were, she was told that. And she yells out like, ah, she cheats on you all the time. Yeah, yeah, that was looking for a picture of her. Yeah, this girl right here. Turns out in the movie, uh, she's been looking at videos of her father the whole time. And her father, uh, we, we later find out, committed suicide. And she's and this girl's been keeping a gun around and everything because she feels so bad about her dad. And the moment Olivia says, I can't tell the truth about this certain thing, it would kill her. And I was like, okay, all right, we know what it is. It has something to do with you and the dad fucking around. Oh. And, and, and that's when that Tyler Perry shit comes out. Turns out that this girl's dad, she... Uh, Olivia went to her dad one night after she had a fight with her folks, and she, and her dad has finished. And at the same time, her dad had just finished drinking a lot. Uh huh. And uh, the dad was like, "Well, it just so happens, I lost my I lost my job today too. We can console each other." <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> it turns out, like Olivia, and I thought actually Olivia. I, see, this is what I'm saying. They should have pushed it all the way. I thought Olivia actually had sex with the dad. Oh wait, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, they had to. No, they had to make it nice. No, it turns out the dad. Made a move on her, and Olivia's like, get off me. I don't like, I don't like this. And then it says, you know what? I, and the dad's like, I'm sorry. I'm just, I just lost my job, and I'm drunk. I know what I was doing. And she's like, and he's like, just don't tell anybody. And Olivia's like, you know what? I'm telling everybody. And, and he's like, well, don't let her kill my daughter. Uh, uh, no, so it would, he says, it would kill me if you told my daughter. And then Olivia tells the, the dad, well, you know what? The daughter would be better off if you were dead. And the next day, could commit suicide. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's kind of different. That's oh, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is. It is. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, you may sound like oh, it was not, it was nothing. Oh, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> no, but it, like I said, in the movie, it's something where man, they built it up so much where it is not that big of a deal when they get to it because mm. you see it coming. Okay. Like I said, I thought she had actually like you know had sex with the dad. Sure. And it's like no, nah, her thing is where I wish I wish you were dead. And the girls like you made my dad commit suicide. Your dad tried to fucking rake me what are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> and then they have some drama that comes up after that okay and the movie's full of drama like that the movie's full of there's these people are dying from a supernatural curse and they fighting over a guy yeah in the movie you know there's some things that you just you push can, can we push that aside <laughs> you push it aside when a demon's killing people you push all yeah, these other things aside and kind of concentrate on the things at hand well yeah. you know teenagers and their messed up priorities yeah, yeah i know this movie this fucking priority <laughs> still holds bullshit